Hello and welcome to Sunday's Sermon. I'm Elder George Lockhart, the Church of the Living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Today's sermon, Be Not Afraid. The words, fear not, appear in the Bible exactly 365 times. Did you ever wonder why? Do you ever wonder why we are not to fear? The reason, of course, is that the Savior has been presented, a deliverer, a rescuer, one who is adequate to free us from any threat and danger in any situation. That is why the shepherds were told not to be afraid. Today's lesson is about how the shepherds were introduced to the newborn baby, Jesus Christ. It did not make any difference whether Herod or the Romans, what they would do, or what the clever manipulative minds of men would try to set into motion. There was a deliverer, a savior among them. A redeemer had come who would change the situation and use it for his own glory and bring them through. Therefore, the announcement of the angel was, be not afraid. Every Christmas season, remind each other that it is not enough for Christ to have been born in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. What really counts is Christ being born in the human heart. Your Bethlehem is when Christ came to you and was born in your heart. It is that remarkable parallel that constitutes the good news of Christianity today. That Jesus can be born in us certainly as he was born in Bethlehem, therefore to us, the angel stands to make his welcome announcement. Fear not, for unto you is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. None of these movements or methods will ever mean anything unless they are backed by a life that has this mark of genuine Christianity, the presence of joy and the absence of fear. Paul said this, The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Spirit. Romans 14 and 17. Jesus Christ was born during the era of Herod the Great. Herod the Great was a very complex man, a man of many contradictions. He was cruel to many and helpful to some. He seems to have been insecure and even paranoid that others close to him were after his power. Herod killed both his sister's husbands. She married one after he had killed the first one. The Bible says that in Acts 12 and 23, and immediately because he had not given the glory to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down. He was eaten by the worms and died. His cruelty overshadowed his life. This is the time period that Jesus Christ was born. And now to the lesson. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all the world went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea into the city of David which is called Bethlehem or the house of bread to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife being great with child now he had not married Mary it to this point because she was simply his espoused or engaged when they were there those days be accomplished that during that time she would deliver the baby and she brought forth her firstborn son why firstborn because there would be others and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. Why were the shepherds near Bethlehem? That was near the temple as to where they would always have sacrifices. And so it was a market. It was a supply and demand. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory shone around about them, and they were so afraid. Now, let me pause here and say, why were they afraid of an angel? I guess if you saw an angel, you would be afraid too. But the question would be, why? Let's go and study the scriptures. Uh, Daniel 9 says, Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins was girded with fine gold of euphaz. His body was also like that of beryl, and his face as to the appearance of lightning, and his eyes was lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in the color of polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel alone, saw the vision, for the men that were with me saw not the vision. But the great quaking fell upon them, so they fled. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision. And there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet I heard the voice of, of his words. Then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. In other words, Daniel had fainted. And behold, a hand touched me, and set me upon my knees, and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood, but trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day thou didst set thy heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, I am come. 
for thy words. Not. Back to the shepherds, verse 10. The sign would be a baby that was wrapped in cloth, and he would be lying in a manger. The angel did not lie. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told unto them concerning this child. And all that heard it wondered those things which was told to them by the shepherds. These shepherds were the local newspaper, the first heralds. They were the internet. God used them, these lowly shepherds, to go and give the great, great news. 19. But Mary kept all these things and pondered upon them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. As we begin this series on the happy holidays, we will celebrate the birth of Christ and exchange gifts and be merry and be happy, all centered around it. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins and death. So we thank God for the word today, and we hope that you all can share this with someone and has been instrumental in your life. Until next time, remember, God is in control.